So happy to be able to share this beautiful, these beautiful moments with you. Uh, Garrett, welcome to the Bosch Kong family. Uh, right? You will meet all of us sooner uh, or, or later, whether you like it or not. Um, <laughs> sorry, but you already said I do, so no takes these back, please. So. Yeah. Um, so, so blessed to be here uh, or part of this tonight. Um, love this family so much and I'm so blessed or we are all very blessed to be a part of this day so let's just play a couple of songs for you guys Parted the sky. 
sky Through the darkness on us he shined Crucified in stone Still his blood is my own Glory behold on my eyes have seen, have seen, and I am blessed, 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 I am blessed. I am blessed to be a witness. Some have flown away, can't be with us here today. Like the hills of my home, some have crumbled and now all gone. Gather round for today Won't come again Won't come again And I am blessed 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 to be a witness. We are blessed to be a witness. Watch your mama's only boy, but her favorite one it seems. She began to cry and you said goodbye. Sank into your dreams Poncho was a bandit boy His horse was fast and polished steel He wore his gun outside his pants Will be on his world to feel Poncho met his match, you know On the deserts down in Mexico Nobody heard his dying words Oh, and that's the way it goes No, the federalists say they Could have had him any day Only let him go so long Out of kindness, I suppose
If you great men are all the same, could I have a man he day? Only let him slip away. Out of kindness, I suppose. growing up um, we played a game I don't know how it started maybe in the front yard one day where for some reason or another we decided to come up with nicknames for each other that happened to be old man names <laughs> and with that said I can reintroduce myself hi my name is Buford <laughs> <laughs> and that's my brother Otis so if you try and talk to her later, she'll gladly speak to you in that voice. We've got a lot of other personalities and voices, and it kind of goes viral once you start joining the club. So most of our memories kind of happened at our family cottage up in Canada, as you know, a lot of the Canadians are in the house tonight. <laughs> um, we had no TV up there, no video games, not allowed. So we had a lot of time to get creative, come up with other personalities. Our nicknames, uh, our old man nicknames extended to the family, so a lot of them are at the table right now. There's William <laughs> Uniboo, which isn't really an old man name. Uh, <laughs> just calling you out. Um, some of our other cousins had names like Norma or Edna, and it's kind of weird. But uh, it just kind of went viral, and after thinking about it more, I kind of realized it was a family tradition. And uh, some of the other nicknames my family has, there's Chauncey, Jane, Pearly, Petunia, Pink. And that's all nicknames of my grandma sitting right there, front and center. <laughs> then going around the room, there's Kendi, Pooh, Lulu. There's more names for Stephanie. Uh, you can ask her later about that. Phyllis, the bird, Smelly Nelly. Where's Smelly Nelly at? There you are. <laughs> Niffy. We stay Smelly Nelly. <laughs> so, I won't say my Uncle Tim's nickname if you want to ask him. You can, uh, it's a little bit not PC, but you can ask him in person if you'd like to know after the show. <laughs> 
So, yeah, after a while thinking about it, I think it's maybe bred into us somewhat of a family tradition. Now, the first time I met Garrett, he took us on the next tour of the Air Force Academy, and as a Boeing employee, I enjoyed seeing all the airplanes. It was really sweet. They were living kind of far apart from each other at the time, so to include me on their third or fourth date was pretty special. That was very nice of Garrett. Um, it was a great tour. Now, the second time I met Garrett was uh, after they had been engaged for a little while. I came home for Christmas break, and uh, they were engaged for probably six months and a lot more comfortable with each other. <laughs> I just had really opened up. Um, <laughs> And all of a sudden, they had new nicknames for each other, which was Wanda and Jerry. And uh, they pretended to speak in these Jersey accents, which I have no idea how that started. But as you know, it's kind of a thing. And so they were joking about smoking cigarettes, a pack a day, and coughing up hair balls. And I don't know why hair balls is such, a, it's not really a Jersey thing, but it's really fun to say in a Jersey accent. So, do you want to say hail ball? Here ball. <laughs> Here ball. Everyone should try it sometime, it's just great. <laughs> but it was really at that moment that I knew that Garrett or Jerry was really the right one for Wanda or Otis or you know any other nickname you have. <laughs> so with that said, Stephanie, thank you for always being the big goofball and letting your freak flag fly no matter where we go. Public, Walmart, could be anywhere. Uh, the more you stick around, you'll probably get your own nicknames as time goes on. And Jerry, welcome to the family. I've always wanted a real brother. <laughs> as much as you try, <laughs> I just want a real brother. So. Raise your glasses and cheers to Wanda and Jerry. nicknames soon. Um, but Stephanie and I have been friends since I can remember. Every crazy memory I have involves Otis. <laughs> um, if I was to tell you all of them, we would be here all night. So, uh, Otis, you didn't think I was going to give up here and just give a regular speech, did you? All right. DJ? Drop the beat! Now this is a story all about how Steph ended up in a wedding gown And I'd like to take a minute, just sit right there I'll tell you how you ended up at the wedding of the year Aurora, uh, Colorado is where we were raised Causing trouble is how we spent most of our days Chilling and relaxing, ditching school and all Sarah was pretty cool. I messed up real bad. Okay, ready? Here we go. I totally messed up, but I got this. All right. <laughs> All right. Jerry, you ready for this? I totally messed up. I'm sorry. It's all right, though. We got... <laughs> I totally messed up, but I'm glad you guys have a good time. Everyone have a good night. I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. Maybe later I will finish. I'll start over. Maybe later. I'll do it better, okay? You want me to start over? Hey, let, if I get my headphone, because I recorded myself doing this, so let me get my headphone and I'll totally remember. <laughs> Right, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
Okay, DJ, are you ready this time? <laughs> you totally messed this up. <laughs> okay, DJ, I'm ready. This is a story all about how Steph ended up in a wedding gown, and I'd like to take a minute to sit right there. I'll tell you how you ended up at the wedding of the year. But then it came Garrett in the neighborhood. They met on one little site. We were all kind of scared, but hey, guess what? We're all on there. They wished for love, and when it came near, he was in the Air Force, so we knew he was fly. If anything, I can say that this guy is rare, but he has to be to put up with Otis, my dear. About <laughs> six months passed, then he proposed. This is off. I'm off. Okay, I'm out. I was definitely planning on, I was worried about Nathan's speech, but after that, I have no idea what to say. Uh, no, I'm, I'm, we're not doing a dance. I don't dance. Uh, no, I've known, uh, known Garrett for years. Um, a lot of good and a lot of bad. Um, there's a lot of stories I could tell, but I'm the one that's not married, so I'm going to keep it clean, because I don't want anything coming out in my wedding. <laughs> uh, I just, when, when Garrett started telling us about Stephanie, I didn't, you know, we didn't see him that much, you know, we only saw him holidays and sometime during the summer, and uh, when Stephanie came around and I heard about their second date, I knew that she had got Garrett by the heart. There was no doubt about that. Uh, so, and then when, right as, Nathan and I met her in Mount Home. It, I, you knew it, right? Just how they acted. I didn't know about the Wanda and Jerry. I, this is this is news to me. I knew this about yesterday. So great. I heard about Otis once. Uh, didn't know what that meant, but I get it now. Uh, <laughs> makes sense. I didn't know how it went from Wanda to Otis. Uh, and I don't know how to, how that works, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, but definitely, it was a blast. Uh, Stephanie looked stunning. Garrett, at least you cleaned up. Thank you. Uh, give you the cheers to Stephanie and Garrett. Garrett was headache this morning. You're welcome. Nathan, your dinner's in the trunk of my car. <laughs> Sounds good. I'll, have, I'll eat it after. So I've known Garrett for a long time. We grew up streets, one street over from each other. We did everything together. We played high school football together. We went to our first year of college together. And then we kind of split after that. And so if you want to hear the good stories, just come find me afterwards. I'll tell you those. But I'm going to keep it PG, kind of like, kind of like Logan. So <laughs> he's not a bad kid. He's the responsible one, actually. <laughs> He drove me around a lot. But one of my favorite like, stories about Garrett, and it's kind of a, a thing that we have, is our New Year's parties. We would always meet together. And for the last three or four years, it's always been an odd number. It's been me, my wife Allie, Logan, Nikita, one of our other friends and his now wife, and Garrett. <laughs> And so New Year's would roll around, it would hit midnight, we'd all get our New Year's kiss, Garrett would look at me, I'd be like, no man. <laughs> no, not happening. Last year was a mistake. But, just kidding. So, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So now that we have Wanda, aka Otis, aka Sybil, aka Stephanie, in his life, we no longer have to have that issue. So the first time I actually met her, I'd heard so much about her for a long time. The first time I met her was actually in Mountain Home at my wife Allie's house. We were all vacationing up there. I had just proposed to Allie. And then we, get the, we find out that Stephanie's gonna be able to come join us. 
So for about a day and a half, Garrett was glued to his phone. He didn't look up. He didn't talk to anyone. He was just texting her the whole time. He was so into his phone, just so enthralled with talking to Stephanie. We were just like, what is going on? Finally, when we pick her up from the airport, he's happy-go-lucky, he's giddy, he's excited, he's this new person. I'm like, what, who, who is this girl that's just kind of changed my best friend Garrett, the, the college football player, the Olympic weightlifter, the special forces operation man who guards our missile bases and just turned him into a pile of mush. <laughs> I, I gotta get to know this girl. So I get to know her. And she's wonderful. I see you two together. You're so happy. You know, I've known Garrett for a long time. He used this quote in, in my best man's speech, friends closer than brothers, which is just the best way I can describe him. And I'd do anything for him. I worked a 36-hour shift in a hospital and got up at 3 a.m. this morning, flew out here to come to this wedding. Kind of tired, but I'd do, I'd do anything for this man right here. And I know he would do the same for me. His dedication, his loyalty, his compassion, his friendship, his love for me is evident and it's back, but it pales in comparison to what he has for Stephanie. I can see that. I think the line tonight that was sung so beautifully that we were all blessed to be a witness to this marriage of Garrett and Stephanie tonight. And God shone down with this beautiful sunset. It was just, it's a perfect evening. I'm so grateful that I can be here with all of you. And I would just like to cheers my best friend, my brother closer than blood, Garrett Schinkel and Stephanie Schinkel.
Christensen. You're a chase. You're a wonder on the dance floor. Three.